Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at um, what can you expect in love, what are the current energies for you in love, and what do you need to know about this other person, their energies towards you, and where is it all headed next. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Sagittarius watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. And let's just get into your reading for Sagittarius, Spirit, Angels, Guides. Messages, guidance, please, for Sagittarius regarding love. This time, what are the energies for Sagittarius regarding love? The energies for Sagittarius regarding love. Okay, we have the Two of Swords. Wow, the Ace of Cups. And the Four of Pentacles. Difficult decisions about love, about a new beginning in love. I feel like someone might be wondering if they can open up to this new idea of love or this new beginning in love. Bottom of the deck, we have Death, Scorpio energy. Changes, endings. Um, so there could have been an ending recently for you, Sagittarius, and now there's a door opening, a new beginning that's possible, or there's some sort of change or ending happening in an existing connection. We'll have to see um, when we keep clarifying here. Let's get some more energies out here for you. What else do we need to know for Sagittarius? For Sagittarius. What do we need to know, Spirit? How about the energies surrounding Sagittarius? In love. Victory lap. You're being recognized and admired for your success. What else? Second chances. You're being given a second chance. Okay, what else for Sagittarius? Broken silence. Open up, be vulnerable, and express your true feelings. So this is kind of the energy I've been picking up so far is almost like someone needing to be vulnerable enough to have a second chance or to be open to a, a new beginning or a new opportunity. Um, I feel like it's going to be very successful with Victory Lab here. What else do we need to know for Sagittarius? What are the energies for Sagittarius in love at this time, Spirit? What do we need to know for Sagittarius at this time? What do we need to know? Make the effort. Great love is taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay, what else for Sagittarius? We need to know, Spirit. You deserve love. You are lovable. Yeah, I get. It's almost like you're being encouraged to think about this. This Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck. It is safe for you to love. Exactly. <laughs> exactly what i've been picking up here it's almost like it's okay for you to to give this opportunity a chance so let's see what do we need to know about these energies here tell me about the two of swords why is the two of swords here this is typically a difficult decision someone's undecided unsure tell me about the two of swords five of cups i think it's because of the past because of past hurts past mistakes regrets Tell me about the Two of Swords. What do we need to know? Yeah, the Tower. Something happened here, Sagittarius. And there's the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel like the past has affected you because it was a tower um, that kind of rocked your world or surprised you. It was an unexpected change or revelation for you. Or this decision could be causing a tower. And again, Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. There's like an opportunity here. It's like you're being given some sort of an opportunity or an opportunity is coming your way and it's taken some time to get to you. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. What do we need to know about this Ace of Cups? The Hangman. Looking at things from a different angle, understanding things now that you're looking at it from a different perspective. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. 
What else do we need to know? About the Ace of Cups. Hmm. I'm getting kind of like keep an open mind here. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, there's definitely something coming your way. And there you are, Sagittarius, with temperance. Again, it's taken some time to get to you. But now that it's here, you have a decision to make. I feel like there's... um. This could be somebody approaching you, it could be a Taurus um, or an Earth sign. It does not have to be, but I feel like you could be having someone approach you and you're kind of evaluating if that's something that you even are interested in or want. I feel like in your mind, things have to be a certain way or you're looking for a specific person or a specific type of relationship. And I'm almost getting that maybe you need to be a little bit more flexible Open up a little bit more. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. What do we need to know? Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. What do we need to know? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there's definitely something coming your way that will will be something different for you or it'll open a door for you it'll be different with the wheel of fortune again timing is very important can i get one more for this four of pentacles the eight of swords there's fear here i feel like you're scared i'm not sure why but i think all you need to do is just be honest with yourself or with someone else be open have the clarity that, you know, if you want answers or you want reassurance or you need clarity, then ask those questions. Have those conversations. Yeah, the magician. I feel like some of you wonder if you're being played. Um, maybe you've manifested this for some time and now that it's here and spirit is asking you to take a little bit of a risk you're backing out or you're unsure fearful of getting hurt very normal to feel that way i'm not judging anybody for feeling those feelings and having those fears because you know it's natural to have um it's natural to want to protect yourself after you've been hurt so i feel like what spirit is saying here is that it's okay for you to open up you deserve this um all you need to do is make a little bit of effort um, also, you feel free to flip this energy, Sagittarius. This could also be the person that you're dealing with or could be dealing with in the future where they need to open up to this idea of being with you. They need to make the effort and they don't need to be worried so much about being hurt, when, at least when it comes to a, a connection with you. So let's get some insight into this other person. Spirit, tell us more about this person that Sagittarius is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person for Sagittarius? Please forgive me and I'm taking a risk. Okay, not sure why they, well, I mean, maybe they're asking for a second chance. And bottom of the deck, I see you in my dreams. Hmm, let's get some insight into this person's energy. I want this one. Yes. Spirit, tell me more about this other person. This person that Sagittarius is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person's energy? What do we need to know about this person's energy towards Sagittarius? Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Bottom of the deck, Six of Cups. Interesting. Um, I think this is someone that really cares about you. The Queen of Cups, Six of Cups. There could be um, happy memories here, good memories, or the past that this person's thinking about. There's an obstacle here that your person's thinking about. When, whenever they think about you, they think about this obstacle. So let's get some insight there. Because they're taking a risk here. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Ace of Pentacles. Okay. 
We have the Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. Hmm. Well, I don't know what's going on here. They're coming in with a big offer. Six of Swords. I think they're leaving something behind to come to you. I think that they might be this forgive me, please forgive me. I'm not see I'm not picking up anything big that needs to be forgiven there, although of course all of your situations are different. But I'm almost getting with this please forgive me card, like um I'm sorry for taking so long. Or I'm sorry for the delay, that kind of energy, you know? Like it's it's almost that kind of um asking of uh what do you call when you ask for forgiveness? When someone's asking for forgiveness, that's what I'm picturing is someone asking for like a little thing. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Please forgive me guys, because today I have not been able to string words together. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on, but it's only today. Yesterday I was fine. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Six of Cups again. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The lovers, um, yeah. Gemini energy, soulmate energy here with the lovers and the six of cups. It's gonna be a past life connection coming back or a soulmate or someone you have a strong bond with. Two of pentacles. And then the empress. I feel like this is gonna be something where it's like you're not sure about them, but they're completely sure about you. And I think you've had that kind of energy where was it? I don't know. It's You've had someone kind of like waiting in the wings. Like they, they are your soulmate. They're coming in. They're trying to get in. They've learned a lesson and are wanting to come forward. They want to be with you. They're willing to do whatever it takes to be with you. This is something that's been going on for the, at least the last three readings that I've done for you. And I feel it's up to you now. And some of you, you're just not sure or you don't trust this person. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Maybe they say things, but they never follow through. Maybe they made you promises in the past and never, you know, it never went anywhere. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Judgment. Oh, yeah. This person's asking for a second chance, or at least let's try again. Maybe, maybe you had a, um, there's a King of Cups. Yeah, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. We really care about each other. There's a, real feelings here. I'm very genuine, you know, when it comes to you. I really love you. That kind of energy. But there's more to this that I'm, I'm not really seeing here. And, I mean, there was kind of like some sort of insight because we had, was it the tower? Yeah. We had a tower here. So a lot happened here that I feel like I didn't really get a lot of clarity on. But now I'm understanding why you're so hesitant. Now I'm understanding why you're so hesitant. Because I feel like, Sagittarius, you wanted something from this person. And they didn't deliver. Or they went back on their promise. Or they fell flat on their face. I feel like they disappointed you. And you lost faith in them or in this connection. Um... But again, I don't think this was a huge, I don't know. Like, I'm not picturing someone that, like, cheated on you. I'm not getting that energy. It's something else that got in the way. It could have been a parent. It could have been an ex where they were distracted by other responsibilities. Or maybe they lied to you to keep the peace, you know? I, that's kind of what I'm picturing here. I'm not picturing someone that, like, slashed your tires or anything like that. You know, that, that's just not the energy that I'm getting here. Because I feel like, why would spirit encourage you to be with someone that's not good for you? It would never happen. I mean, that's against everything that spirit would encourage. But if I'm speaking to a Sagittarius where spirit is saying that it's safe for you to love. So this is not for the, before the comments come in, this is not some narcissist that you have to forgive, okay? That would never happen. <laughs> Spirit, I mean, those are lessons. Those are not people that are meant to be in our lives. And I think deep down, a lot of us know that. 
but it's really hard to break free from someone like a narcissist but spirit would never condone you to be with that type of person i mean this is it's pretty common sense but it's just hard to really accept sometimes that those people are never meant to be in our lives for good you know so before the comments come in this is not a narcissist that you have to forgive and accept back sagittarius don't do not take it that way if that if you're dealing with a narcissist or someone toxic please do not go back to that person i i would not recommend it okay so let's get some insight into where this could be headed next sir tell me more about the future outcome of this situation what can sagittarius expect next can Sagittarius expect next when it comes to this person this situation what can Sagittarius expect next okay Let's see what we get in the near future Knight of Swords communication Queen of Swords definitely Ten of Wands, I want one more. Five of Pentacles, okay. Someone wants to talk about all this. Whatever is going on here, they wanna talk about it. There's the Knight of Pentacles again at the bottom of the deck. Now, you know, and again, the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, where is he? Right here. Um, these are not people that manipulate. These are not people that try to cut corners. It's, they're the opposite. They try to do the right thing, even if it takes twice as long. Whoever this is, I feel like they want to talk about things in a very honest way. There's the Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords. You know, break the silence, be vulnerable, be open with you. You know, if you're talking to someone and you can never understand what the heck they're trying to say, or there's like riddles in what they're saying, or they never really are open with you, then obviously this is not the reading for you. But I feel with the Ten of Wands, Five of Pentacles, whoever this is, I mean, they've been through quite a bit. And I feel like this connection has been through a lot as well. But this Five of Pentacles, this person's not doing well or they're away from you or they're, you know, apart from you. Uh, there's a distance here. So let's get some insight into what exactly. Okay, but well, before I do that, I guess I'll look at these. Eight of Cups, Four of Cups, the Empress. Yeah, some of you are having doubts. You have doubts because either you walked away from this person in the past or they walked away from you. And so how can it be different now? How can you grow, manifest? I feel like a lot of you don't want to lower your standards or um, devalue yourself. And if someone's asking you to do that, then obviously it's a no. You can happily walk away from them. But I'm not getting that energy here. Let's see, tell me about the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords here? What do we need to know about this? The High Priestess and the Lovers. Yeah, I think you need to listen to your intuition here, Sagittarius, about how you really feel towards this person. Is this a special connection? Is this a connection that you feel has strong bonds, healthy bonds, or just the potential is there for something like that? Listen to your intuition. I also feel like someone's revealing how they truly feel here for, um, towards you. Can I get one more for the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords? The Five of Wands. Once again, I feel like they're, you know what I'm getting now that I'm looking at all of this and there's the Five of Swords. I think that there was a big misunderstanding between you and another person. Someone could have messed with your head. Someone could have interfered distracted this you know or added fuel to the fire i feel like there was a lot of potential here and something happened with that tower maybe this person kept something from you that they weren't ready to reveal to you maybe they kept something from you because they were afraid of how you would take it and i think they were right about being fearful of that I don't think that this is someone that like cheated on you. Again, I, I just don't get that. It's almost like something got blown out, like out of proportion or derailed this whole connection. Um, like for example, maybe something happened, this person had to move all of a sudden. 
Something like that. Tell me about the Ten of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Wands here? With the Five of Pentacles. Yep, Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Wands here with the Five of Pentacles? Something, something happened. Something happened. Something ended. Yeah, Ace of Swords. And again, someone wants to talk about it. You got me all wrong is what I just heard. You got me all wrong. Or let's let's be honest with each other. Let's clear the air. Let's really dive deep into why there was such a misunderstanding, why there was dishonesty, or why, you know, things happened the way they did. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. I feel like this person just wants to talk to you about this. But again, there's some resistance on your end. Some of you, maybe your pride was hurt or vice versa and you overreacted or they overreacted. Something like that um, is kind of what I'm getting here. Can I get some more insight? And then I think I'm going to extend this one. I'm doing extendeds differently from now on. I'm only doing extendeds for videos that I feel need them, where I can actually get more insight, more um, uh, clarity on certain energies. And so the extendeds will be a little bit longer, a little bit more um, in depth. So for your extended, I really want to look at this person's intentions because I feel like I need to reassure you. I also want to know if we can get a little bit more insight into what this Ace of Swords is, what this Wheel of Fortune is, because I feel like they're, they're kind of tied together. There's something here that is it's like an opportunity is presenting itself at a certain time. And you need all of the facts, all of the information to make an informed decision. There's so much I wish I could do over again. Yep. And I have waited a lifetime for you. Yeah, I get that too. I feel like this person, you know, they would have done things differently if only they could turn back time. Um... So I'm going to look at this person's true intentions and I want to also look a little bit at this Wheel of Fortune and Ace of Swords because this conversation I feel is changing things. I know we're looking at near future energy but I feel like the near future energy is communicating about what happened, talking about what happened and then making a decision based off of that but I feel like this Wheel of Fortune and this Ace of Swords it's almost like once you talk about things then what? Maybe we can get some insight there. So if you want to know more, check out the extended. It's linked in the description box. All right. Any spiritual guidance, advice for Sagittarius? Any guidance, advice for Sagittarius? Listen to your heart, number 30. Exactly. And bottom of the deck, be patient. Really good advice. Yeah, listen to your heart. Listen to your intu intuition, Sagittarius. So I'm going to leave this here and I'll take this to the extended. Thank you so much for watching, Sagittarius. If you like this reading, if you enjoy how I read, leave a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Those are great ways of supporting me and what I do here on YouTube for free. I really appreciate anyone who takes the time to do that. Thank you so much. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.